looking at the supply list, everything I got here, I got from Lowe's, except for the one inch wood stars and the stencil. I got those from Amazon and I have a link down below. Once you have the seven cut, now here I'm doing several flags at once, but once you have them cut, let's go ahead and spray them. Having a spray, as you see here, is so much more convenient, a lot faster. The red paint, or excuse me, the red stain that I use is Minwax Scarlet Colored Red. All right, now that the stain is dry, let's go ahead and assemble our flag. First, I assemble it face up. The flag looks good, then I flip them over. Once you have it flipped over, let's go ahead and clamp it down nice and tight. I also put a 25 pound plate up top there on, on top of the uh, first stripe because what happens is when you clamp it down real tight, it, the top stripe wants to flip up. So this keeps it from uh, flipping up. It helps out a lot. And you know, if you don't have 25 pound weight, then uh, have somebody sit on it. I don't know. Use something. Once you have it clamped down, ready to go. Each of three pieces here to support for the backing, hold it all together. Uh, the length for this one here is 18 inches and 7 eighths. So I mean, it just depends on what length or width of your flag that you're going to have to use. I also use wood glue, put a bead of wood glue on there, and then I nail it down with inch and a quarter long brad nails. Alright, the next thing you want to do, if you want that distressed look, let's go ahead and get our torch and just lightly torch every stripe here. Not to worry if you have a real have like one section that's really badly torched in your mind. Honestly, when you get it all done, it'll, it will look most likely look better. But if you don't like it, just replace the stripe and just put a new one in. Once you have the torch and done, let's go ahead and tape off our area for the union. Now, as you see here, I'm pressing pressing the tape down between each stripe, and what that does, it keeps the tape or the paint from seeping underneath the tape. I have a star pattern stencil I use to help me mark off the area as well as help me placing the stars correctly on the flag. I use rust oil blue metallic but any navy blue or dark blue paint would be, be fine. Once the union is dry let's go ahead and put on our polyurethane and what polyurethane does is you can use a nice glossy look plus it protects it from the elements if you want to have it outside you know from rain or sun. It will eventually fade, but this will help prolong the life of the wood in the flag. Alright, now that the polyurethane has dried, I usually give that about 6 hours to dry. Let's go ahead and put in our star pattern. This is a 14 by 11 pattern that I got off of Amazon. The link is down below. And I also use 1 inch wood stars off of Amazon as well from a guy from Texas. And these come unpainted, so you have to paint them. Once you have your star pattern in place, let's go ahead and uh, dab some glue in each star. Once the glue's down, let's go ahead and put our stars in place. Once you have the glue and stars down, I use three quarter inch long pin nails. Pin nails and pin nailer I got off Amazon, I have a link down below. And this thing right here, it's an amazing thing that helps out to hold the stars to the flag. So I use glue by itself in the beginning, it didn't hold. I used one pin nail, it didn't hold, so two pin nails and glue, holds the stars on really well. I've had adults and kids come up and try to twist the stars off and they stay on, so two pin nails and hand and glue works pretty good holding the stars on there. And there you go folks, there's your rustic American flag.